We've just finished the first quarter of the 2017 financial year and it's been a very busy one for the CBRE Northside team. Once again we've demonstrated to the market what is possible when clients partner with a team that has the size, brand, experience and negotiating ability to deliver real results consistently. As a full team panel here today, we'd like to all share with you some current insights from the marketplace, what we see happening out there, and a snapshot of our recommendations moving forward for the end of the year Christmas break. The investment market has been particularly strong over the past 18 months, with yields compressing by approximately 100 basis points. This has been attributed largely to a low interest rate climate, allowing investors and superannuation funds to purchase industrial assets, showing appealing yields. The competition around limited good quality stock has been the driving factor in yield compression. It is evident over the past two quarters that lenders are exercising more caution. In order to obtain funding to support yields tighter than 7.5%, the fundamentals of the investment must be strong such as five plus year lease terms, strong guarantees, 3% plus annual increases, and market rentals. The Brisbane North industrial leasing market for 2016 has been much stronger than the previous year. We have seen rental rates steadily creep up with vacancy rates declining. There have been a number of different trends in the leasing market, particularly that of a flight to quality. There is a broadening gap between rental and vacancy rates of prime and B-grade facilities. Subprime warehouses are becoming more and more redundant year by year. This is due to increased demand of high internal clearances, lower site covers and well presented facilities. On-site truck reticulation has become a must as no longer can trucks be backed up onto the street like the good old days. There are a number of new warehouse facilities either under construction or planned to be speculative built in 2017. These new facilities will continue to put further pressure on subprime markets and something owners of older facilities should be wary of. CBRE are advising owners of subprime facilities to adjust their leasing strategy and look at reducing their rental rates or consider short-term lease deals. Further to Dylan's comments in relation to the leasing market, we have noticed a steady shift from inner city tenants looking further afield outside the 10 to 15k ring from the CBD to take advantage of better quality buildings boasting functional access with loading and unloading capabilities. The rental savings are greater and the access routes to these sites are being further improved by some key infrastructure upgrades. Notable recent improvements include the Banyo section of the Gateway Motorway and Kingsford Smith Drive upgrades. The occupier market has recently slowed amongst buyers looking at secondary grade properties. Particular funding restrictions and increased awareness by banking institutions have warned occupiers to consider their options when looking at the right properties to purchase. We are seeing the properties with depreciation benefits, good functional design and hard stand as being still hotly contested when they do come to the market. The overall market sentiment remains particularly strong heading into the back half of 2016. Land rates have seen a steady increase with peak rates nearly matching prices prior to the GFC. This includes in demand and rates has been driven by a number of different factors including outer north industrial hubs maturing as prime industrial markets, stronger tenant demands with tenants moving from more central located markets and sub-prime facilities becoming less desirable. Though the trade coast remains the most expensive industrial in Brisbane, largely due to proximity to the port and limited supply. We expect current marketing conditions to remain buoyant through the remainder of 2016 and through 2017. Brendale and the Outer North industrial market will continue to be more widely recognised by owner occupiers and tenants as it further matures in the coming years. Brisbane North remains more expensive than the Western Corridor and Outer South precincts, again largely by supply and conditions. A very obvious trend that we're seeing out there is that the properties which are actively marketed via an exclusive agency with an advertising budget spend are getting the better quality of inquiries, are spending less days on market and are securing the better values. Stock that is open listed for lease without professional photography, an upgraded internet listing on real commercial and exclusive agent out there driving it are getting looked over by tenants and just sitting there vacant. Sales stock that is open listed off market 
not being sold by auction or expressions of interest with a deadline, an exclusive agent that gives it their 24-7 focus, is not getting the sense of urgency from buyers and the record results. We as a team can't recommend enough the importance of getting it right when it comes to marketing your property. Very soon, you'll be well aware of our biannual Going, Going, Gone national campaign. We invite you to get in touch with us about any opportunities in there that catch your eye to buy or lease, or perhaps discuss the sale or lease of your property and be involved in the next GGG. It's a very powerful tool that always under promises and over delivers. That brings us to the end of the first quarter of the 2017 financial year and we trust that what we've discussed today has been of value to you. Thank you all for your continued business and have a great second quarter. We're all here to help you and we look forward to keeping in touch.